I was young, alone, and under the false sense of security that the media provided me. The media never gave the truth. It was always skewed. Biased, just to get to the highest ratings or most views. It was all about money. Greed ran rampant. How do I know this? The media made me. I was one of the most successful music producers ever. I was on all of the young up and comer lists. I made the Forbes 30 under 30 list at 22. I was behind some of the greatest albums of the century. It was this arrogance that would be my downfall. I invested millions of my own money into making a massive blockbuster film. I went all in. I put it all on the line. And I failed. The movie became notorious as one of the greatest flops ever. At 22, I was on track to become the richest man under the age of 30. By age 24, I was broke. I turned to any of the so-called friends I had made. I made calls to everyone, bands I had produced, advertising executives, movie producers, anyone with a few extra dollars to spare. I felt rejection like I had never had before. One by one, everyone I had reached out to, every person I thought I trusted or had my back, spit in my face. So what did I do? I went back to where it all began. I went home. I thought I would be accepted there. This was the place that had made me, molded me into the man I had become. I visited my friends one by one. They too turned their backs on me. At first I couldn't understand why. These people were supposed to understand and forgive me. This is why I came home. Then I realized on my rise to fame, I had turned on them. I never returned to any of their texts, phone calls, emails. I was too caught up in everything. Then when I came crawling back, they had no pity for me. I couldn't blame them. I began an irreversible downward spiral. Just months ago, I was adored by everyone. Now it seemed everyone hated me. I had never experienced such a dark time in my life. As if I hadn't made enough mistakes yet, I would make one more. But there could be no fixing this mistake. This one would haunt me forever. <laughs> 